morning welcome back to another crane crazy vlog here on youtube yes yeah, so i've got like i've, I've up the crane i'm up a new crane and i'm on a new job yeah i told you in the last video that i was starting a new job and um yeah it's um in brentford so um yeah i, I can't really show you much at the moment at all um because it's foggy <laughs> um i did get that short if you saw the short where i just sort of panned up and showed you the uh, the cranes in the fog so we've got up here not actually put the chains on or anything yet we've just got to wait 10 20 minutes until the fog clears so we can actually do a lift or do anything i mean i will show you around in a second uh, show you the new cab the new crane it is pretty tidy in here um i've got things dotted around i've got my glasses at the side here ready i took them off because they're just steamed up this crane actually has you just see it there remote control air conditioning <laughs> happy days yeah yeah the uh, the other crane didn't because it was it was an older crane so uh yeah you had to just open the window or the back door if it gets too hot in those cars but these are really nice uh really comfortable seats uh the controls are actually really nice as well in them uh this one has a has a dead man so you actually have to um well, pull the trigger which is just there so you've got to keep that in at all times so even if, even if i wanted to there's no way of me even trying to operate this crane while i'm holding the phone at the moment while i'm not doing anything maybe like obviously during my breaks and things i can do the, the videos and the footage like this but at the moment while i'm driving this crane not a chance like no chance everything will be mounted i'll have a gopro up here at some point looking down and then i'll have one on the uh, on the window just just sort of just there if you saw me there <laughs> just looking at me so while i can talk to the camera while I'm, I'm looking down obviously i won't be looking at the cameras and things but uh, yeah i'll be concentrating on what i'm doing it's just interesting i mean yeah thank you for all the subscribers and the lovely comments that i've had oh Right, the other crane's got to try and do some work. Right, I'll show you the uh, the cab and I'll show you like outside in the fog. But yeah, this will be a quick short video. Right, so let's have a bit of a cab walk around then. So the model of this crane is a J115.8 and the eight means it can lift eight ton in a four fall situation. You can run a two fall. Basically the falls are the amount of ropes coming off the block. So this one's on four full, there you can just see it there. Four full, so I can lift eight ton um, at a maximum radius of um, six meters. Um, oh, 6.8 meters, I can, I can do that. Actually, it does say six ton on there. So yeah, it's probably derated because I'm near, near a road. But um, yeah, it's a 35 meter gym on it that you can't see because of the fog. <laughs> and it's a 65 meter tower you can just about see the the tower the yellow bit there <laughs> 65 meters which is the same height as the pepsi back uh, pepsi max big one at blackpool there's my um uh, anti-collision so if there's any cranes there's two cranes on this well three actually there's two over there which you can't see at all um if they're in my radius it will show up so you can't hit the other crane which is a really good safety feature. It's just a, a guidance really more than anything. I've got two radios, with um, crash radio, so I could talk to the other drivers and a standard slingers radio just here as well. Always on charge, always fully stocked up with batteries. You got a uh, wind speed ometer there. Obviously it's, it's zero because it's foggy and a block cam, which is obviously not rigged up yet because they haven't put the battery on the end of the block. So. I've got a view of me hook as well, so yeah. I mean, there's, there's there's all sorts of scope for this. Obviously, I've got to do it in a safe manner. Like you know, I can't I can't be uh, attaching GoPros to hooks and stuff. But maybe I could if I um, had a day off and went out um, erecting a crane or something. I don't know. There's a lot of scope for this channel. Anyway, I'll just show you outside quickly. This will be a very short video. Obviously, there's going to be extra stuff involved but yeah the seats very nice the controls are here so that's my uh left and right slew trolley out trolley in uh up and down as well You've got your start button emergency stop uh that acts, acts as a horn as well 
green light to say I'm all right when you turn off that goes on red. So that's it. <laughs> and that's, there's a couple of buttons on that side and your anti, um, your uh, weight limit switches as well. Uh, that basically lights come on when you reach a certain percentage of, of weight. One of them's 90%. And then when you're over your weight, it'll come up on red, so and it makes a noise, so you know if it's too heavy. But yeah, look at this view of or lack of view. So yeah, this contract we're working for Hills, really good house building company. This is a saddle jib crane, so we've got the two slew motors just here, slew brakes on the top again. There's the end of the jib, <laughs> 35 meters, but yeah, the tower 65. Can't really see a lot to be honest. There's one of the other cranes. I mean, where else do you get footage like this? When you go a bit higher, you can see the blue sky. So if this crane was over 100 meters, you'd be above the clouds. I've seen so many nice pictures. So yeah, he's he's gone down to get his chains. So that's it, really. That's uh, foggy situations. What do we do? We just wait for the uh, the fog to uh, to lift. Obviously, if I, if the fog does lift, and um, yeah, I've got tinted windows in the back as well, very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, air conditioning's really good. So yeah, obviously when the fog lifts, I'll show you. I'll show you a bit more, but yeah, it's a, if I had to prop you up on the front, that's the view you gotta get. <laughs> so not, so not very good, or even down there. So yeah, pretty pointless at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'll probably see you in a bit. Right, so it's actually still really foggy. Uh, I can sort of see the ground and I can sort of see the block, but however, I do have my block cam on now, so I can see perfectly fine. <laughs> That's a cool feature of modern cranes and modern technology and stuff. I mean, somebody actually came up with this idea of the block cam a few years ago and um, yeah it's, it's great it's just basically a, a big gopro attached to the block of the crane the thing that goes up and down with a hook on the end of it that picks the loads up it's basically attached to that and you have this massive battery it's huge big block of battery and i have like some connections and stuff for it in ace because obviously it works off a wi-fi system it's great i mean the battery most of the time will last all day so but if it goes off you just tell them they'll come and change the battery so yeah, I mean, instead of just looking at the ground, I mean, which I do all the time anyway. Give me a couple, couple of inches off your voice. Um, I prefer to look out out of the window really and see exactly what I'm doing. I can I can see what I'm doing. That's fine, but having this screen up, up here now, <laughs> too many people rely on it. That's uh, I think that's the problem with it. So basically what I've just picked up now is a giant steel column. Um, it actually weighs 800 kilograms. So I'm clear to go. So yeah, this will be pinned sort of into the ground and then you put the, sh you put the shutters around it so this is going where i put the last load so i know where i'm going now so yeah it's basically a steel column you cover it with shutters metal shutters or wooden shutters no matter what as long as it's got a nice smooth finish on it you close the shutters up and then um, you fill it with concrete and then basically the next day you take the shutters off and you've got a, a wall or a column or whatever you've erected and then that, that's how the buildings go up in stages. Your, uh, view to the theme line to the yellow leg you lifted. Bring the bike. So I'm looking at the other crane which I can just see there, I'm looking at me screen down here, my other screen. So there is a lot of distractions as well actually. It's just like driving a car. <laughs> it's no different to driving a car. Bottom 65 meters up in the air. Um, you know, I look, you, you look at to see if your lights are on in the car, you look at your blind spot. So I do the same thing as I do if I was driving a car. So I'm just on my own. There you are, coming down your voice. 
I think he's still figuring. Okay, uh, come here. <laughs> I think he's, he's, he's a bit lorry. So you can try it back in a bit to your left, please, mate. <laughs> try it back in at three meters. So sometimes you can hear the radio go, and you probably think, oh, we should be listening to the radio, but he's, at, he's actually talking he's to somebody who stood next to him. I hope you do. <laughs> so it's hilarious. So he's talking to someone else to figure out where this load's actually going. So I'm pretty much in place. Keep coming so I just in on need the trolley. To trolley in a bit more and drop it down. Keep coming in. And give me to your left as well. So a meter to the left, up and down. It's very uh, tall in only. Keep tolling. Keep tolling. Keep tolling. Keep tolling. That's good, mate. Come down the hoist. Top gear for a while. Give me like Top gear for a while. Here. Oh, no, it's uh, ten meters down. So I'm ten oh, meters above it. his above above no, the ground. Okay. Yeah. Slow it down a bit. You see with the hoist. Hoist is on this side. Beautiful. Just above the timbers, you put the timbers on the ground. Big, big long bits of wood, basically. So when you land the load, all the way, come down, all the way. Beautiful. In the middle, spot on. There you go, landed. All the way. Yeah. So that lift took me what? Five minutes. I have always said every lift's around five minutes long, no matter what you're doing. If it's concreting or whatever, it's normally around five minutes per lift. But there you go. That's. That's a lift in the um, in the fog. I will turn you around. I've got to attach you up up here somewhere now, so you can get a view uh, down below. But yeah, this this video is obviously about weather conditions and um, what it's like. I mean, yeah, it's pretty foggy. You'll see in a minute when I turn you around. It's really, really far coming up the Well, this happens. You need to know about the weather. Clear up. You need to know back in. if there's storms in, in the horizon, the vicinity, you know, you can't... You might have a few more columns over there, but I need to create space, you know, because it's a struggle to lift up. <laughs> I don't think you can see me radio, yeah, my radio's just there on the side. So he's basically just said he's, uh, there's another column to move over. <laughs> Come to your right, please, mate. Uh, I've got a hangman there. Make sure he's there. So yeah, we yeah. need to clear oh, the space. Nearly 10 meters away from uh, TT, TT2. So it's a little hangman on the top as well. And that's the lift. Yeah, so I've just moved out of the way of the other crane for the minute. Because uh, he's coming in to do a lift. He's just on my left hand side there. Um, yeah, you can see the, uh, the view that I've got. You just see the sun try to poke through the... Uh, through the fog there so um yeah I, I can't really see a lot to be honest but yeah you do get days like this where especially in the morning anyway where it's foggy and you know uh, wind and rain and you're climbing up in the morning you get soaking wet through or it's freezing cold and yeah so it's it's different it's a different kind of um career it's not for everyone yeah so uh, how do you get into doing tower cranes well um, like I, I think I might have mentioned in one of my other videos, my dad was a tower crane operator, so he he got me into it. He basically said, "Look, if you do the uh, you know do the tower crane course, would you be interested in doing it full time?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I was actually working at a a glass. No, well, it wasn't a glass where it was a what was it? A double glazing window company called Plastec in Morecambe. So I actually was working there from the age of like 18, uh, 18, 19, 20, not early 20s anyway. Doing a period, you can do it 180 on your line side. So he wants me to do a 180 now. Um, yeah, so um, obviously I went to the construction college. You've got to pay, I think at the moment, I think it's about £3,000 to do this course to, uh, to operate a tower crane. Uh, but anyone can do it. It's not. There's no um, qualifications needed. Or obviously, you need to know certain things like the weather and 
um, some some sort of calculations. You need to work computers for a, for a start. Having an actual interest in computer games growing up that was that's been played a massive part in my career. Because um, yeah, when I was seven years old, I first um, used a Spectrum ZX Plus that my dad came home with. I was about seven, I used to do computer programming and I used joysticks just like these ones to play the games and yeah, so hand and eye coordination is a big part, that's made, probably the, the major skill that you need for this job and obviously re re relatively fit as well, not like most crane drivers are, are fit <laughs> But it's, it's the sitting down and eating all day that, that does it. Obviously the only exercise we get is either walk, walking to site and climbing a crane. So if you're up a really small crane, you're not, you're not getting that much exercise. So I've done my 180 slew around. I should have put you behind me really so you can see that. Uh, I think I'm going for another column which they're just fixing on. So I can see on my screen now, it's, a, it's obviously a bit clearer on there for what I can see. They're down there still working on it. So I'll just hover over the area, really. <laughs> so yeah, this crane, uh, I, I did mention just a minute ago, well, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, it's... There we go, back. See, he's talk, right? talking to another operator. Hang on, hang on, please, I'm going to talk to you. Or is he talking to the manager? Hello, he's talking to a manager uh, or something. Please do get the first, and then go around, I'm going to go back there, mate. Right? So he wants a hangman. So basically, a hangman is a fall okay, arrest yeah, go system. Well, I need to get and get these on the cage. Uh, you know the fight that they're doing. I think we're going to arrive. Sometimes it can get a bit much on the radios, especially when you're uh, trying to do something and they're telling somebody else what they want next and. There's always like a big list of stuff that go for this and go for that, and sometimes it's too much information to take in at the same time. So it's nice to have um, lifts that you know what you're doing at, at that actual point. Because <laughs> there's wagons coming in all, constantly all the time, steel wagons. Obviously, you'll, I'll show you those uh, steel wagons and um concreting at the end of the day and you know this, this is a big thing this this channel for me now but it's going to be small easy to watch informative Steady on the body, buddy. videos Keep so I'm, I'm way off for the minute <laughs> Keep on the thunderstorms as well i mean now uh, i've seen some thunderstorms in my time another three meters three to four meters i tend to know if there's a thunderstorm well obviously I can see them coming I tend to um, obviously make sure that I've got nothing on the chains I'll block up and then maybe sometimes come down if it's the end of the night because you don't want to be up here in a thunderstorm but the cranes are perfectly safe they're, they're earthed up so if they do get struck by lightning yeah, if they get, do get struck by lightning, they're perfectly safe. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you when I've done this lift. Just put it uh, on the far corner, Arthur, please. Uh, close to the steel. Don't dunk this way here. Continuously, I'm watching it. This is right behind on your tape. Continuously, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, this crane that I'm on at the moment didn't actually go up that while ago, to be honest. Um, so, this section that I'm building now is, is currently still in the ground phase level. So they're doing a lot of groundwork, um, putting the pile. Well, they've done the piling. They do, normally do piling on building sites before cranes. Sometimes you get the odd area where it's still being underdeveloped. So most of it is in the ground. So they're building the cages. They dig the hole. Big metal rebar cage will go in it. Then they sort of put the shutter in around it, fill it with concrete, and there you go. That's how you make a base. Again, it's the same with a 
a, a, a ride, a roller coaster with foundations for a ride, or a flat ride, anything like that, will always need ground fun, f foundations. And um, yeah, while I've got you on at the minute, we're just I'm just hanging here at the minute. I've just done my load, um, my lift. Sorry, uh, dropped the little scissor lift down, just literally just below where I am at the minute. Moved it from a different section over there. Um, yeah, obviously it's a new crane, this is my second day here, you haven't seen the climb up yet, I'm waiting for some proper 3M GoPro mounts for, for my helmet, like I said in a previous vlog, I did order a case from Amazon, really cheap bundle of stuff in there that you can find for GoPro accessories on there, but I don't recommend using most of it to be honest, especially the chest harness, when I first started with Coaster Crazy, I did use like a cheap knockoff. Um, harness and it was just too small <laughs> it just it was rubbish it was it it was tight it was small it didn't work um but yeah in the in the in the case you do get a lot of mounts in there but none of them have got sticky fat 3m tape on them so you can't stick them to anything so i'm waiting for that so you will see a climb up there <laughs> it probably will be just a just a climb up and then a bit of footage throughout the day and most of the videos you'll be clicking on will be like this so yeah just while i'm sat here on a break or waiting for a lift or you know maybe while i'm doing one but obviously concentrating what i'm doing with the with the gopro mounted uh, in front of me like i have at the moment um i probably will try and i don't know how i can get any more footage of the ground and stuff especially today i can't really because you won't be able to see a lot but i don't know where i can really get that because i'm just so high up like i said 65 meters this crane it's the same height as the pepsi max big one at blackpool pleasure beach crazy isn't it really like you know all these people i sit on a roller coaster at the weekend and i hear people oh god it's high up here but i'm like yeah but i sit up here for 10 hours a day it's just the views i love the views i mean i still can't really see much in front of me i can see reflection in my window in front of me of the, of the sun behind me trying to break, break through the uh, the fog but yeah, I think that's probably about it really, but yeah, when obviously I've got to get used to this new crane um, I don't know what it's like in the wind yet, but hopefully with it only having a, a short jib on it It shouldn't catch the wind too much, but that's again. That's another day That's another video working in the wind and how how you um, how you do that But there's basically with the with the operation of this crane. It's, it's it, like most cranes every crane is different they all feel different they all operate differently and yeah, it's just getting used to it really, it's just get, it's just like getting a new car or something for the first time, you know, you, you, you've got to get used to it. But um, yeah, I mean, if the fog clears in a bit, obviously I'll get you a little bit more footage, um, or maybe on my break, but as of yet, this, this is probably about it for this video, but uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and um, yeah, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, do the do the thing on the side i can't move that far away to, to 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 put it there but yeah comment like and subscribe just there uh share if you enjoy what you see I, again i know it's not everyone's cup of tea i've had a few messages already saying that you know some of them are actually saying well i prefer this channel to your coaster channel so <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's all it's all good progress at the end of the day and uh yeah it's a learning curve if you want to know any more information just please comment down below in the uh, video comments and uh, I'll gladly get back to you when I can <laughs> obviously but yeah now I'm just looking down on the ground really I can see through the floor but there's not much of a view even if I took you off now and showed you you you, you can't see much I mean I, I can see bits of the floor but most things are sort of out out from uh, the field of view of looking down straight at the ground sometimes it's actually better to be up a crane that's a little bit higher than a short crane. The short cranes are, are pretty good for your little climbs and stuff, but uh, yeah, you want something with a bit of height so you can actually judge the distances actually a little bit better. Because when you're a short crane, you, you tend to be looking out at something rather than on top of it, if that makes sense. But yeah, again, if you want to know anything, just don't forget to uh, comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you in a bit actually, but um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the footage so far. I hope you're enjoying the channel it will be different every time i film something if i can i have tried to do a bit of music again it's probably been changed uh, as you're watching this now but i did the outro 
and um, I got copyrighted already on uh, even using epidemic sound so I need to try and get some music done that's uh, non copyright I don't know uh, where I can get that from if you've got any tips again comment down below for uh, for free music but yeah I'll probably see you in a bit if the, the, the fog clears I'll, on me break or something I'll take you around and I'll show you a bit of the view but uh, yeah I'll probably see you in a bit Right, so that's uh, going to be about it for this video of uh, a foggy morning, I suppose. That's probably got to be the title. Um, yeah, it, you can see I've got my sunglasses on now. The sun's come out. There's a bit of mist in the distance. Uh, but that's about it, really. Um, yeah, I got you a shot, a couple of shots over the shoulder just then. Um, when I've got another break, maybe this afternoon, I'll show you the outside, the view, because you haven't seen that yet, because it's my first day here on this job. As soon as I get the mounts for the GoPro for the helmet, I'll, I'll do like a proper climb up uh, video and then end it there. And then obviously I'm just going to put like bits and bops in the video when I can. In between lifts and um, on a break and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Again, like, I'll, 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 I'll film a bit more this afternoon on the, uh, on the balcony, show you the nice view that I've got at the moment. But yeah, the fog is gone. The sun's come out, it's a beautiful day, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll probably see you in a bit. Right, so yeah, I just had to stop for a minute while the other crane's coming uh, just in behind me. So uh, yeah, I've got a couple of minutes, just show you outside, and then I'll wrap up this vlog. So there you go, <laughs> from a very foggy morning to a very sunny morning, but yeah, the views are awesome here. Really, really, really good. Really nice, I mean, I, it's, it's not clear enough, but you can actually see the shard in the distance. I can't quite see it at the moment, but it, it's there somewhere. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today of a very foggy morning. That's not very foggy now, but yeah, I um, hope you've enjoyed the footage so far of what I filmed and what I can show you and uh, the nice footage and things. Don't forget to share with people if you enjoy what you've seen. And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, do this on the side. Comment, like and subscribe. Do that. And um, yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell for next time we upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, stay safe.